Hey, I'm Pat Murphy Racy for Alpha Universe. Um, I thought I would take you with me on a very, very busy day tomorrow, but it's important to point out that in a professional photographer's life, the day before a shoot, the night before a shoot, is very involved. I've been packing now for about two hours to make sure that I have everything I need. I'm driving about an hour and a half away in the morning to shoot um, part of a baseball game, part of a softball game, and then two basketball games, and I'm gonna light the arena. It's a lot, um, and when you do the work that I do, you don't always have a chance to run back to the studio and get something you forgot. In fact, it's not an option. So um, I thought it would be appropriate to start here in my garage at night. It's about nine o'clock at night, and uh, I'm beat. I spent a lot of the day trying to find things that I need uh, for tomorrow, and um, so packing, very essential part of being a sports photographer. Next stop will be the morning when uh, we pull out of here and head up the road to Lincoln Memorial University. And yes, I need to change the battery in that smoke detector. Thanks for pointing that out. All right, so we made it up to LMU. It's uh, kind of a dark overcast day, but I think it's gonna be bright later. Um, first up, order of business is to light this arena, put up the strobes, attach a radio remote system to them, set my remote cameras on the court, and then book it over to shoot uh, baseball, which is right over there. So off we go. All right, so I'm pressed for time today. So what I've got to do very quickly um, is set up some strobes so that every time I shoot a picture tonight, the two games I got to shoot, um, I get perfect exposure every time. But I got to do it very, very quietly because the uh, opposing women's team that's going to play tonight is down on the court right now. And I want to make as little noise as possible so as not to get in trouble for being here. So. It took me an hour and 15 minutes. It took me a little extra because uh, the place was locked when I got here in the morning. I had to call security and have them come open up the arena for me. But uh, anyway, hour and 15 minutes. I did uh, four lights, um, one in each corner. These are all like with the NCAA rules. They're at the, at, uh, at the basket, basically at the backboard. And uh, every time I shoot a picture now in here with the remotes uh, and with the cameras in my hands, uh, Instead of it being like, you know, 5,000 ISO, 500, uh, 28, I'll be at like 565 at about 160 ISO. So it's like really nice way to make pictures. I've also set remotes on each goal so that like no matter which way the ball goes um, when I'm shooting the game, if the ball goes, like if a ref's in front of me, I just hit a button and the camera shoots that's unblocked. Likewise down court if I, if the, if, the, if the action's going away from me as I'm looking down court, then I just hit the remote button for that side of the court and I hopefully nail it. Um, so anyway, on to baseball. Okay, so uh, uh, softball field's there, baseball field's there. My car is here in front of the arena and uh, I wanna leave it here because I wanna have a good space for later. Um, baseball, real quick, I'm gonna run through kind of what I'm gonna be doing here. Um, baseball is a tough sport to shoot. You got to pay attention. You can't be like daydreaming because you can go for an entire game and there's only like one great play and uh, it sucks if you miss it. So uh, baseball is all, all about being on your toes and really, really paying attention. And um, I am going to be shooting the A99-2, 
with a uh, 3028 and with a 1.4 extender pretty much permanently attached. Um, that will give me a 420 millimeter F4 field of view, um, which would be about too short for baseball, really. I like shooting a 500 and a, even a 600, seven, you know, but um, I don't happen to have that with me today, um, and I'm kind of running. So basically, I'm just gonna assemble my uh, lens and uh, get my butt over there because the game is supposed to start, I think, now. And uh, it just took a little bit longer inside than, than I thought. Uh, I use these Aquatech um, pads, which are really great for all day. And then carbon fiber monopods are really nice, um, especially for people like who shoot auto racing. I mean, when you do a NASCAR race and it's a 500 mile race, you're there for hours and hours and hours. And it really makes all the sense in the world to make sure you're you know, treating your body as best you can. Getting ready to shoot baseball. Um, there's something I kind of thought of that I should mention. Um, one of the cool things about all these Sony cameras, you can change the buttons to whatever you want. And the trash button uh, is C1. And what I always do is I change this one to APS-C mode. Um, right now I've got a 420 millimeter F4, full frame camera, 1.4 converter, 3028. That's a 420 F4. But when I hit this button and just move the dial once and pop it, I'm at 630 millimeter because I went to APS-C. Because I have 42 megapixels to play with, I got nothing but real estate on the sensor, and I can easily do that and not lose anything, no lose no quality whatsoever. So it's a very very nice way to work. Also, I'm set to center autofocus. I find that that's the very best results I get for instant sports. Um, the autofocus speed is on number five, so it's the most responsive because you just have to be able to hit it once and know that the camera is just going to go and nail it. And the uh, the A992 is awesome at that. It just nails stuff. It's great. I really never get tired of shooting this camera. It's really fun.